Documents obtained by E! News show that Kanye West's former aide Lauren Pesota is suing him. Pesota is suing West on several grounds, such as discrimination based on gender, hostile work environment, wrongful termination, quid pro quo, and illegal retribution. The most strange aspect of the complaint, though, seems to be that this is what he allegedly stated to her by text one day. Like, for me, Playboy was my gateway into full-on addiction. My dad had a Playboy left out at age five, and it's affected almost every choice I made for the rest of my life from age five. Mm. So but then the seemingly weirdest part is this. It looks like this is what he said to her uh, over a text message one day. And I can't imagine she doesn't have proof of these things considering it's a text. I don't know why she would delete them, but I'm not going to read it, but you can read it here. He was just saying how different parts of him were raised. Like. Currently, Kanye West is in hot water again, this time because of allegations made by Lauren Picota, his former assistant, who kind of looks like a cross between Kim Kardashian and Bianca Sorori, Kanye's current wife. Lauren Picota was another temporary employee of Kanye during the summer. Pisha reportedly has video evidence to back up her claims, and she also shared some of the texts she got from Kanye. But in response to Pisha, Kanye has now spoken out, refuting every allegation and threatening to bring a countersuit for blackmail. However, some sources assert that Pisha's claims are 100% accurate because Kanye has already admitted to being addicted to, let's say, adult stuff, and even stated that his addiction ended his marriage to Kim. Furthermore, you can observe how Bianca, Kanye's wife, appears to be a walk-in blow-up doll when she wanders around in virtually nothing at all. In light of everything, it wouldn't be absurd to assume that Kanye was sending ominous messages to his lone fan assistant. Does this imply that Kanye will soon pass out like Diddy? Kanye has declared his intention to launch his own adult film studio, Yeezy Corn. Let's analyze the specifics of what his ex-assistant revealed about Kanye's behavior. In her case, Pesota claims that Wes sent her a ton of offensive graphic communications while she was working for him. In addition to descriptions of his fantasies about having affairs with anonymous models, some examples of these messages are included in the documents. There are also other messages that imply or suggest that the plaintiff wanted a relationship with the defendant, even though she never did. Rolling Stone was able to obtain court documents that show Kanye West is in legal problems once again. Yeah. Pesota claims in her suit that Wes sent her a multitude of inappropriate and graphically messages and videos throughout her employment, examples of which included in the documents describe his fantasies, encounters with an unnamed model, and other messages which, quote, suggested or insinuated that the plaintiff wanted to have with the defendant and actually had course with the defendant when in fact she did not want to and never indeed did do. Picota, who has 15 years of experience in the music business, even worked with Kanye on three songs from his D album and season one of his Yeezy women's fashion line. According to her lawsuit, P claims that in 2021, Kanye hired her as his executive assistant and personal assistant and offered her a $1 million salary contingent on her being available to him 24-7. Picota reportedly accepted and signed a contract as a full-time employee at that time. Picota asserts that she was already earning $1 million a year from her OnlyFans account and other social media platforms. Although Kanye didn't object at first, the lawsuit plan states that in 2022 he abruptly changed his mind and told Picota she needed to be more godlike. Picota reportedly agreed to delete her account in exchange for $1 million, but she later claimed to have received explicit messages from Kanye, including one in which he allegedly made love to her. In one of the texts included in the lawsuit, Kinnear allegedly wrote, See, my problem is I be wanting to F, but then after I F, I want a girl to tell me how hard they've been F'd while I'm F'ing them, then I want her to cheat on me. Furthermore, Pella claims that in a, another communication, Kanye sent videos of him having sex with another model and that he was fascinated with her partner's size. Kanye allegedly asked, Is my D racist? I'm going to stare at pictures of white women with black A's until I beat the racist D out of me. The lawsuit also claims that after Kanye invited her to his room on the plane to talk, he shut the he door shut and trapped her inside. He then allegedly laid down on his bed while she was sitting in a chair across from him and he started to touch himself under the covers until he fell asleep. This is not all, according to Pella, the lawsuit also describes a bizarre incident that allegedly occurred during an overnight flight to Paris when other Yeezy employees were present. The lawsuit states that approximately September 2022, Picota was promoted to chief of staff for his various companies by Kanye, who also promised her an additional $3 million as part of her promotion. However, the following month, Picota claims Kanye unexpectedly fired her and offered her a $3 million severance package, which she accepted. 
However, she claims she never received the promised money in addition to being in breach of contract and being wrongfully terminated, according to Rolling Stone. Picota is suing Kanye and his Yeezy Enterprises for intentional inflicting of emotional anguish, fraud, and unpaid wages. In November 2022, several ex Yeezy and Adidas workers reported that Kanye used pornographic content in mind games to scare his staff members at staff meetings, in addition to showing them graphic private film of Kim Kardashian. Kanye has been accused of mistreating people before for allegedly exposing them to his addiction to obscene content. The former members of the Yeezy crew stated in an open letter that Kanye regularly yelled at female staff members and made offensive remarks. The letter described how over a 10-year period Mr. West intimidated the staff of his fashion company using harsh tactics, frequently focused against women. Furthermore, the former workers said that Kanye showed Yeezy team members an explicit video of Kim in his own private recordings, disclosed intimate images of Kim Kardashian during job interviews, and had in-depth conversations about pornographic films and meetings. Even more concerning is the fact that these workers assert that upper management at Adidas knew about Kanye's actions but decided not to discipline him. There were challenging occasions when VP level or higher officials were in the room, but nothing was done, according to a former employee. The next day, you would still report to work. You probably already know that Kanye has been playing the victim for the past few years, accusing Adidas of trying to defraud him of millions of dollars. With this new lawsuit that his former aide has brought, it seems that he is continuing in the same manner. In a statement, Kanye's attorney told the LA Times that he intends to refute Supa's baseless accusations. He also charged Pisha with extortion, blackmail, and coercion. But based on Kanye's behavior since splitting from Kim Kardashian, everything that his ex-assistant is claiming in her lawsuit makes perfect sense. Remember how Kanye publicly how humiliated Kim? Him after Kanye their breakup started because of her private tape him with Ray over J. Her private apparently, well, he apparently, wasn't bothered the by the footage didn't bother him while he was married Following to him, a few weeks the... of seclusion, Kanye returned to the public eye with his current spouse, Bianca Sori, if that wasn't already hypocritical enough for Mr. Sunday service, it seems that all the discourse about how women should be modest and godlike ended when he married Bianca. He treats her like a trophy and we haven't seen her covered up in public yet. Investigate this. Kanye, the man who claimed that his adult film addiction wrecked both his marriage and his family, has revealed that he intends to open his own adult film company. Do you believe that since having daughters, his views on women have changed? Your attitude towards women has changed since having daughters? Nah, I still look at fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what kind of stuff do you look at? What categories? <laughs> Black is my favorite category. <laughs> I got to a point where I was always letting that Playboy magazine that I found when I was five years old have an effect on my music. It could not never be 100% everything it could be because I had to add that in always. And it got to the point where literally I went from Jesus walks to you're such a I love it. This fit right in with everything we got to deal with opioids. This fit right in with everything we got that promotes so that we can have more slaves in the mass incarceration. Why did you make it? Because I was asleep. Mm -hmm. Because I was drowned. Because I was lost. According to Kanye's agent, he has been in talks with Moss about a role as head of the new Yeezy Corn division. The source added that Kanye is in discussions to help Daniel establish the brand with MZ, his ex-husband and a successful businessman. In terms of release window, Yeezy might go live as early as this summer. It's clear that Kanye is dealing with serious one fan said that considering what is known about Kanye and his actions on social media, not a single person would be startled if the charges were proven true. The outlet claims that Ye is in talks with Mike Moz, who is the ex-husband of me Daniels, who's a veteran in the business himself, to help him get the brand up and running. As for a launch date, Yeezy make its debut as early as this summer. So Furthermore, it appears that he is committed to destroying his reputation and legacy. Let this be a warning to everyone. I'm not sure how much of this is due to mental illness and how much is due to insecurity, ego, and stupidity. Though I'm sorry, I'd like to hear your comments on this. What do you think of everything that Kanye's former helper has to say? Kindly post a comment below and be sure to view the next video.